In this video, I'm going to help you get rid of those annoying telemarketer spam calls that you're getting on your Android phone on a daily basis. Now, I want to help you do this without you having to pay for a service like Haya or Whois to monitor the calls and without you having to change your precious phone number. Let's say you've had your phone for the last five years and you don't want to change it. This is to help keep your phone number. Now, real quick, I'll put a timestamp for the Android phones. So I'll put a timestamp down here where to jump on this video to, to start getting to it. But until then, if you are an iPhone user, I, this video is not for you, but I will make a follow-up video. Just put in a comment section that you do have an iPhone and a thumbs up. And I will make sure to make a follow-up video for the iPhone for you. Now, just to give you a little background about my story, I made the mistake of signing up for a cheap web hosting domain site. And then I started getting like maybe one or two calls a day from web hosting designers that they wanted to help me web design my website, which, which I did not need. And then after a couple months, then it started getting to five calls. And then I started noticing, then it started going to uh, car warranty hoping that maybe they could scam me into some kind of car warranty. They didn't even know I had a car. Um, whether it be uh, police officers, pretend like they were police officers, want me to donate to my local police office department, or Medicare, Medicaid, senior citizens, AARP, blah, 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 blah. And then it started coming to where I was getting like 10 or 15 calls a day, and it's nonstop. So um, that was super frustrating. Like I said, you could sign up for Haya. And there's a few other good ones. Number one, it won't block every single call that you have. That's number one. And number two, it costs money. Who wants to spend money? And who wants to change the phone number that they've had for years? You know, my my mom, family members have my phone number. I don't want to. I don't want to change my phone number, right? I don't want to do that. So, uh, number one tip of the trade is is do not answer the phone call. So if you know that it is a telemarketer calling you, do not answer. Because if you do, it automatically goes into the computers that you're a live person. It doesn't matter if you say F off or if you tell them, you know, something negative. They do not care. They're, they're working in cubicles by the dozens, if not hundreds, and they're just answering and they're just trying to find a live person to sucker. Okay, so do not answer because it'll put you on a list. First of all, if they have your number, you're already on the list and it'll just get worse and worse. Okay. When you answer the call, then that becomes a nightmare because then they know that you're a live person. Okay, so what do you do? So on your Android phone, and this method may not be for you, but it is for me. First of all, every single contact that you have, everybody that you know, whether it's work, family, people, even yourself, and even people that you have their phone numbers memorized and you don't need to have it in your contacts on your phone, make sure you make them into a contact. I don't care who it is, um, any company that you work for, if they might call you once a day, put all your contacts in your phone and list them as a person. So what we're basically doing is, is we're not answering the calls that we do not recognize. So after I plugged in all my contacts into the contacts on my smartphone, now I'm going to start doing some blocking. Now please follow through with me through the whole video before you say, no, 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 that's not going to work or no, no, that won't work for me. Just follow through the whole video and then I'll explain at the very end. So first thing I want you to do on your smartphone, on your Android, is go to settings. Then from settings, go to notifications. Now from notifications, I want you to scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says ringtone. Click, click ringtone. Now from ringtone, what I want you to do is I want you to turn do not disturb. I want you to turn it on. And I want you to click it. Now it's going to show a do not disturb page. And now you have it highlighted blue, turn on now. But on the turn on schedule, I want you to actually click on that and change the dates. And I want you to select Monday through Saturday. You don't have to select Sunday. And then I want start time to be 8 a.m. You could try to do 9 a.m., that's fine, but do either 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., and then end time, do 8 p.m. Okay, back out of that, and then when you click below that, turn on a schedule, click allow exceptions. Now below turn on a schedule, click allow exceptions to custom. Click custom. 
I want you to go ahead and select repeat callers. So that means if you physically call somebody, in the next 15 minutes, they can call you back and you'll be able to get the number. The, the next one is I want you to click on calls from. And I want you to click on calls from and choose contacts only. So you're starting to get the picture that all your contacts are now to allow to call you, whether that's your work person or a family member or whatever. And then when it says messages from, this is for your text messages, accept messages for all. So anyone who text messages you is able to message you, even telemarketers, which they won't. Next thing I want you to do is to call your phone, your voice message, and I want you to change your voice message. So to, to get to your voice message, just simply call your own phone number on your phone. That will get you to voice message. And then from that, what I want you to do is change the voicemail to something like this. Hi, this is John. I'm getting a lot of spam calls right now, so please text me or leave me a voice message and I will immediately text or call you back. Thank you. And then hang up. So what's happening is if it's someone that's important and it's not a telemarketer, they'll know, hey, John is going through this issue with telemarketers probably like I am, and so I'm going to leave him a message to call me back. And then if it's someone that you know or whatever, then you can add them to your contacts so you can get calls from them later. Telemarketers will not text you. I've never gotten a text message from a telemarketer, maybe one in a blue moon. So they're not even texting you. And immediately, I'll open up through the day, and I'll notice I'll have 10 calls, some spam calls, but none of them are able to get through to me. Now, it will ring through. So they're, they're on the telemarketers here in a ring on the, the end on the back and they won't see that it's calling. Now if you have your phone down on the table and you look over, you will see that they're calling, but it's on do not disturb. So you will not hear the call. Okay. This is serving two purposes. Number one, you're not hearing the ring 24 seven from a telemarketer, but number two, you're not answering their call. And that's a good thing. Because what's happening is I've noticed that my telemarketer calls have gotten less and less over time because they're, they realize I'm not answering and I'm not picking up like a live human being. It's just going straight to voicemail. And this is actually working by lessing my calls. So about a month ago, I was getting maybe 20 a day. Now they're starting to trickle down to only three or four a day. Maybe something will happen, legislation will go through, and I'll be able to save my phone number without getting any phone calls. So this is a sure way to help you get past all these telemarketer phone calls. If you're somebody that does get a lot of calls from unknown numbers and it's a legitimate reason, like if you're, you know, if you're working for a company or whatever, you know, they'll hear your voicemail, okay? And so when they hear your voicemail, then they'll know what's going on and they'll just leave you a message. Just make sure you put on your, your phone that you'll get a, an indicator when you get a text message and that it will let you know, hey, I got a voicemail or I got a text message. That way you can look to see, hey, someone legitimate has called me. Let me call them back. So make sure you have that indicator on your phone. But this works for me, and hopefully it'll work for you. Make sure you put in the comment section if you're going to try it out, if you think that this something will work for you. I mean, so far I love doing this method. All right, and the reason I don't do Sundays is because 99% of telemarketers will not bother people on Sunday. There has been a couple, but it's very rare. So I just go ahead and leave Sunday open. And then after 8 p.m., usually telemarketers are respectful enough not to call people. Yet I have had a couple of calls at 8.05 p.m. after my block list came on. That's just part par for the course. But I, I just have it on just in case there is an emergency from somebody like a family member or whatever, and they're using someone's number. So I do have it on after 8 p.m. for that reason. You! You! Come here! You! Yes, you! I need your help. Come here! You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you. Please, you, to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need... I visualize, I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button. 
and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.